Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Wizarding World stuff? Sometimes. Do you nerd? All right, nerdlings, I'm sure you remember way back in the day, I used to get a Wizarding World crate every other month. <laughs> but that doesn't happen yeah. anymore because they've been uber behind. If you remember, like four months ago, we got our July crate. And I present to you September 2019's loot crate for Wizarding World. But... What is this month? Oh, you know, it's just March 2020. That's that's fine. That's fine. <sighs> they sure don't have a problem taking my money on time, Oh, though. I've noticed that. I have a little bit of umbrage with that. Whenever she tells me, hey, I finally got a shipping notice for something, it's like, hmm, yeah. Do they ever uh, forget to take your money, though? No, yeah. they don't. Well, all right. Let's be positive. Mm -hmm. What's the theme? I have no idea. I don't get emails about the theme anymore. There are nothing on the website talking about the themes. And I even peeked in the box for the card that lets you know what everything else is and what the theme is. That's not in there. <laughs> you got the dud! <laughs> but there was something in there. A note. Would you care to read it? Oh, I would love to. House Ghost Charm is coming soon. Wait, what? Dear Looter, we are sorry to report that one of your items is missing, but have no fear, you will get it soon. Wait, 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 wait. So this crate took an extra long time to get here, and there's already something not available? Yeah. We came across an unforeseen issue, but wanted to get the rest of your items to you as soon as possible. Ha! It's not really as soon as possible when it's months later. You had one job. <laughs> Which means we will be shipping your house ghost illuminated charm in a future crate. If you are not set to receive the next Wizarding World crate, you will get the charm in a separate package. We apologize for the inconvenience. Safe travels, Team Loot Crate. P.S. Need help? Contact our customer support team at website for assistance. I don't think so. I will not have you in the course of a single evening besmirching that name by behaving like a babbling, bumbling band of baboons. Well, let's try to be positive. It's Wizarding World stuff. I love it, right? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. First things in the box. The button. The button. So what do you think the button is? Um, so they did some Patronus ones in the past. Right, and I believe we finished those. And they did like the Horcruxes. Mm-hmm. And uh, were they doing animals? I think they've been doing kind of animals. Okay, all right. So obviously, animal from the Muppets. No, I don't think so. Oh, it's an Akami. I love nice. that. That's one of my favorite creatures. It's so cute. I love how they can be huge and small all at the same time. And their coloring is just gorgeous. Yeah. And this pen is actually really cute. I really like this pen. I do feel like they did it justice on the coloring with the pen. Yeah. So um, Urge to Murder has now been lowered to Urge to Maim. Dobby only meant to maim or seriously injure. No, Dobby, no. Kill. Kill. Urge to kill, dropping. <laughs> Urge to kill, fading, fading, rising, fading, good. The next thing we have in here, it's a bit heavy, pretty heavy. <gasps> There's that word again. <laughs> Is there something wrong with the wizarding world in the future? Wait, it's a paperweight. No wonder it's so heavy. <laughs> Let's open it up. We got a half of a globe. Inside the globe is green and it says, happiness can be found in even of the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Dumbledore. You know, I've never really liked that phrase. I feel like that's kind of like when someone who's not very smart is trying to sound smart and they're saying something and it's like, yeah, that's that's a little obvious there, buddy. We have a really it's big eyebrow dumb. now. Dumbledore. I feel like I feel like they're just trying to appease you, and they're like, "Hey, don't be mad." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, 
they got the weight part down, didn't they? Next, we have a cute little pouch, like a pencil pouch or a makeup brush pouch or a pouch. And we've got Phoenix's Phoenix Eye Phoenix. Marcus Phoenix. <laughs> and on the other side, there is an Order of the Phoenix, and it's the Order of the Phoenix symbol, which is really cool. And it's a zippy pouch. Order of the Phoenix. Ooh, hey, guess what? I'm magic. Watch this. You see a Phoenix now? Now you got snaky scales and the dark mark. Isn't that clever? And you can even zip it up. That is kind of neat. I like that, you know, it's got that versatility in case you don't want so to be, be order of the Phoenix. Good or bad. Be bad. The only thing I don't like though is they're putting in the thought of making it a reversible pouch. Mm -hmm. But then you have this big tag here. Yeah. And yeah, you can cut that off, but also you could have just like taken this and maybe like and you know embroidered it into the pattern or something. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Well, you know, I'm good, so we'll just put the tag on the inside. You're a goody little two shoes. I like my pouches. I'm like Deadpool like that. All right, let's see the next item in here. Oh, hey, look, our favorite. Stationary. Stationary. Except, well, this is actually a sketchbook, so it's not stationary. But actually, it's pretty cool though, feel it. It's kinda, feels neat. Is this suede? It's suede. I love suede. Like a rubberized, almost a matte finish mm -hmm. texture. And it's very pliable. It's got some bend to it. It does, it has a really pretty cover to it. I, I do like, like that. that, that's a cool design. I'd wear that on a shirt. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. And it's got a, a pin here. And looks like we've got some blank, just black pages. Charred pages. And you've got some more dark marky stuff. Let's see what color the pin is. Oh, it's silver. Well, that's kind of neat. It shows yeah, up against the black. Works pretty well. So that's kind of neat. It's different. All right, I, I will give them props for doing something a little different with the stationery or sketch pad. Yeah, I will say I wish I could draw because I would use the heck out of that. I love that. That is a really awesome idea. But seeing as how I can't draw, it does have a little bit of a deterrent for me because they're not lined pages. So it makes it a little harder to use it as stationary. Right. At least it's something different. Something different. Yep. And then the last thing in the box, since we're missing an item, is a shirt. Oh, cool. It's a Hufflepuff shirt with a badger on it. Nice. That's really neat. I really like the design of this, too. I do, too. So we've got, like, some Zodiac mm -hmm. symbols up top. Big old H on there. And the coloring is nice, too. It's kind of a it's subdued subtle, thing. subtle, yeah. Well, I'm going to make you guys wait while she tries on her new shirt. With the paperweight. Wait. Wait. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, that is a pretty cool design. I'm I'm really mm -hmm. digging this. I like this one. And I like that, you know, dedicated. That yeah, would be that's me. that's you. Loyalty, especially oh, yeah. especially it's with this fault. box that's uh, not coming on time. To a fault. Patience. See, two out of three is not bad, you hey, know. I can't have every trait of my house. Even the, you know, sorting hat had a hard time putting Harry in the right place. You know? <laughs> so. Now, um, I know how you feel about black shirts. Yeah, it's not so bad because it's it's a it's a more subdued, so it like kind of goes with the coloring and everything. Okay. It is a little tighter than some of the other shirts, so I guess it's a tighter cotton weave, but it's not too completely uncomfortable. It's a thinner like ink print on here right so that's you know that's always nice i always enjoy that you might get a little more wear out of yeah. it you know mm -hmm. it's not going to break down with multiple washes as easily yep i Good. like it though all right well nice what about the box itself anything fun inside there you go oh so. gotta gotta hand it to you kept it simple subtle so now the question is with the stuff that you got was this worth the wait not really. 
I would say. I like some of the stuff in here. Now, like I said, I'm a Deadpool girl. I love my pouches. The Akami is an adorable pin. This is a much better Hufflepuff shirt than we've gotten in the past. I'm not an artist and we don't really like our stationery. So, you know, that one's, eh, it's okay. And again, this is the 21st century. We don't really do a whole lot with paper these <laughs> days. So I'm not sure how necessary your paperweight is, but, uh, fair enough, fair also enough. they've always done a really, really good job of their themes and, and showing off the theme. Yeah. And this time I really couldn't figure out what the theme was. I still don't know what the theme is. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of all over the place. Yeah. That's, that's true. It's kind of like maybe they scrambled and just gathered up what wizarding world stuff they had. And yeah. they're like, look, we can't put this box off anymore. We guys had something I out. Mean, maybe it was Hogwarts, a history or something. Mm. Mm, that's that's pushing it. Yeah, well, Hogwarts maybe. Okay, now my question is, are you going to continue sticking with him? I mean, they already owe you some crates <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Probably because I'm a glutton for punishment. I keep thinking positive, thinking of maybe they're going to catch up. Maybe they're going to get over this, and this is just a hurdle. I would probably say if this keeps up and we spend an entire year of not getting our crates on time then yeah, I will probably pull the plug. I'm gonna stick with them for now, because I love my Harry Potter stuff, my Wizarding World stuff. All right, nerdlings, now what we need you to do is to give the video a like if you happen to like it, but especially drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of any of the stuff that you saw in this box. Tell us if you think it's worth the wait, and if uh, maybe you would have given up at this point. Even if Lady Lacey isn't going to. Also, if you think you know what the theme is, or if you have a guess at the theme, leave that in the comments. Yeah, there the you comments. go. <laughs> and be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because you never know when we're going to get the next box, since we apparently don't we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and get shirts over there, because those come on time. Oh. Ha -ha. And go over to Retro Refresh because we respond on time. <gasps> and if we like it, we nerd it for all the burns. Oh, sorry, Luke Craig, you deserved it. Bye. <laughs>
It's a Hufflepuff. It's got like a monster face on there. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.